Not a campaign 2020. Many Americans are expected to vote by mail for the first time this November because of the pandemic. Across the country, rules vary for when you can get your ballot and when you should return it. But there is one thing clear. You need to give it some more time than your state might recommend to get your ballot through the mail system. CBS This Morning's Tony DeCopel has more on an experiment CBS News set up to see how long you should give yourself to make sure your vote counts. If you know how to mail a letter, you already know how to mail in your vote. How you doing? Thank you very much. But how long might it take for that vote to actually arrive and be counted? Oh, you're welcome. Have a good afternoon. We decided to test it, sending 100 mock ballots simulating 100 voters from locations all across Philadelphia to a P.O. box we set up to represent a local election office. A couple days later, we mailed 100 more using the same size envelopes and the same class of mail as real ballots here. To approximate the weight, we even folded mock votes into every one. In the following week, we checked our P.O. box for the results. Mail pickup notice, there's more. When we went to collect everything, though, Nothing? most of our votes seem to be lost. That's all I have back there right now. But that's you're sure? Am I, you're, you're totally sure. I believe you. I we had to ask for a manager We're trying to do something about mailing ballots. and explain ourselves before someone finally found our votes. They had me somewhere else. Okay, thank you. One, two. We soon discovered another problem, missorted mail, two pieces of it. We got a birthday card from Mike to Ronnie. Have a sweet B day. Get it? There's a B on top. When the birthday greetings ended, 12, 13, we found a bigger issue. 21% of our votes hadn't materialized after four days, and the batch we'd mailed a week prior, some of those were missing too. So of our 100 ballots, 97 arrived, which sounds pretty good, unless you consider the fact that that means three people who tried to vote by mail in our mock election were in fact disenfranchised by mail. In a close election, 3% could be pivotal, especially in what's expected to be a record year for mail-in voting. We're going to see somewhere between probably 80 and 100 million voters um, receiving their ballot that way. The Postal Service says voters should mail their return ballots at least one week prior to the due date. But nearly half of all states still allow voters to request ballots less than a week before the election. So you can forgive the public for being a tad confused. How long do you think the post office recommends? About three days, two to three days. They're saying at least a week. A week? They're saying at least a week for your vote. I just don't trust the mail. That's true. You don't trust the mail either? Well, I just don't. I would like to give, especially during COVID, give them ample time to deliver it. I don't trust it. Why not? I don't know. I'm scared that it might get lost in the mail. I just want to make sure that my vote is submitted. Like, I see that it's submitted, that it actually counts. We should point out that official election mail has a logo that we didn't include, and that is supposed to help expedite it, but our results are broadly in line with the Postal Service's own audits. The Postmaster General declined our request for an interview, but in an email, the Postal Service told us it's committed to delivering election mail in a timely manner. It also says it can handle the expected surge and that it is working with election officials to help with that effort and to educate the public. Tony DeCopel, CBS News, New York. In 2016, out of 33 million mail-in ballots, more than 73,000 arrived too late to be counted.